guys. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. All right, you guys, we're going to take a look at the weekend. Love reading. And we have a new moon happening on the 28th, okay? Um, <clears throat> which is at the time that I'm creating this video. So let's see what these new moon, new beginnings, new energies, um, what your intentions could be, what's coming up for you from the 28th through the 31st, okay? In love and general, all areas of your life, let's take a look and see what the heck is going on here, okay? Um, hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's reading. <laughs> that was hot and heavy. Um, also, do go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, because I have a collective weekend reading over there as well. So if you need a little more, uh, another message, or want to, you know, kind of round things out for yourself, definitely go check that out. It's collective. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys, let's get started here. Mm, there's the Empress. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's definitely a new beginning here. Okay. Um, some of you are trying a new makeup routine, right? Uh, you're doing something with beauty, perhaps over the weekend. Um, Let's see, might be going out into nature over the weekend or spending some time with friends or maybe a mother or a mother figure or uh, somebody close to you. You might find out about a pregnancy. It might be yours, could be somebody else's. Let's take a look. Some of you are getting very creative with something over this weekend and it's new. It's something new. Maybe something you haven't done before. Um, so it could be something to do with art. You might be trying something like new paintings or new um, creative creative arts, um, music perhaps, something very beautiful. I'm just picking up Adele. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to see Adele or you're going to be listening to her music or um, I don't know, something to do with Adele. You know, the singer okay, from the UK. All right, let's see. What else? Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a financial opportunity definitely coming also in over the weekend. Um, financial new beginning, new, um, for some of you, a new job, a new business is beginning. A lot of new, a lot of new beginnings happening here. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's money. <laughs> there's money um, investments savings prosperity security stability uh, abundance manifestation okay there's a golden opportunity coming here for you over the weekend the potential for major abundance uh, we're looking at Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here okay let's see let's see All right. Oh, this might make you a little anxious as well. You might have a little anxiety attached to this. There could be fear. You might be terrif terrified. <laughs> Some of you might be um, receiving an opportunity to, you get a role. You could be receiving a role, being offered a role, um, or um, hmm, a contract. There's something to do like a creative contract or, a f or funding or a sponsor or something or uh, something along those lines there's like huge potential here to do something that you want to do okay or that you've been hoping or wishing or working on for some time and it actually it, it feels like it actually comes through for you right you might have been working at this for years like a, I'm hearing like a big break a big break in something you're getting a big break and you're going to either get paid or you're going to have funding or a sponsorship or something. And it's terrifying <laughs> because you're at this breaking point. Like it's so overwhelming um, that you haven't, you might have trouble sleeping uh, overnight. <laughs> Some type of new offer, new beginning. It, it could be connected to anything, love, career, finance. It's so overwhelming and it's so um, like such an opportunity, golden golden opportunity here. It's a make or break. And it, at the same time, it's so amazing that <laughs> you might be a little bit stressed. Okay. Okay. So now we have the four of wands. Some of you are getting a major proposal over this weekend. A hundred percent, a hundred percent for marriage. It could be, um, a reunion coming home somebody might be asking you to come home um, 
getting invited to some kind of party. It could be like, um, oh, a rap, is it a rap party or, uh, um, it, I, I can't think of the word. I'm, I'm trying to search to get, get the word that they're giving me, um, like a celebratory, uh, party or event. I'm picking up like a stage as well for someone. Um, possibly a stage is, is a welcoming, a feeling like a like you're being like you're feeling very welcomed. It's it's overwhelming energy. Okay, it's community, maybe a community event of some sort. You might maybe you get asked to be like um, maid of honor in a wedding, and it's overwhelming, um, or you get an actual proposal from someone. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of success. I'm just picking up a lot of success and potential for abundance connected to community and a new beginning to be in this Empress energy, you know, beautiful, creative, um, like a very, to be more of a feminine energy, what, even if you're a male, to tap into that yin energy of your uh, side of yourself that is actually like going to bring you in front of people or around people who might be very important or um celebrate or it's people who celebrate you it's 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 like you've got this anxiety card it's terrifying because it's gonna happen this thing this love thing this business thing this opportunity it's it's happening over this weekend okay it's potential for some of you yeah absolutely so that's that new moon something you maybe start manifesting is coming to light something that you've wanted that new moon is new beginnings starting over okay let me see what else is going on Whew. all right now you also have the hangman you have the page of swords oh my gosh you have the knight of cups oh my gosh You've been waiting, Virgo, you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for a proposal or some kind of offer to come in. Yes, you have. You've been patiently waiting. You've been kind of confined. You might have felt confined or, or limited. You're uncertain about something. Um, maybe even felt like directionless. Like if this something doesn't go this way or doesn't work out the way I want, then, then what? You might not have a plan B <laughs> and you might be really stressing. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't make a, make a backup plan. Uh, if something doesn't go a particular way or that kind of energy. Um, so there's a lot of like, you've, you've been making a lot of sacrifices and I feel like you're, you're just really trying to let go because news has been delayed. You've been waiting to hear from someone about a potential investment or a connection, romantic connection. Um, you know, you've been, you've been having to be patient. Okay. Um, You've been trying to plan, but there's there's been so much uncertainty. You might even feel uncertain right now, you know, but I kind of feel like ugh, don't say anything. Don't get drawn into any arguments or something. Just kind of like with the hangman, just get a new perspective because I feel like here, you know, here it comes. For some of you, it's in business. And for some of you, it's also in love, like I said. Okay. Um right when you are feeling stuck right when you are not sure there's a new love offer coming in here things coming to fruition and this hard work even if it's even staying still and being patient is labor intense <laughs> have you ever tried to just sit still for like an hour or just still your mind um when things are running through your head and you're concerned, you have anxiety and you're worried, um, that could be labor intense, you know, because it requires you to, um, there's, there's effort to be made to put in stillness, you know, and to be patient. Like when you're stuck in your car in traffic for an hour, <laughs> you get, like th sometimes the only thing you can do is distract yourself and get a different perspective. Look at something else to try to distract yourself, like sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's office for like it's an hour after your appointment you still haven't seen your physician and you're like let me how many magazines are here i got to get through all these like waiting or being on your phone you know and you've been looking down at your phone you've been doing all boom here it comes here comes the knight of cups an invitation 
okay and being swept off your feet okay a date a love offer proposal okay romantic very beautiful over this weekend all right what do we have on the board here um double taurus uh, virgo gemini aries we have scorpio oh we have triple taurus uh capricorn uh, uh pisces okay it doesn't mean it's not you know it doesn't have to it's just who for whoever knows those signs that would be for you okay so there's definitely this love offer coming in when you don't expect it or you you've been trying to be fair and <clears throat> i see you over this weekend kind of like you know waiting to hear back from somebody some of you have been waiting to hear back from somebody <clears throat> response to a phone call or call back or an email or a text and you've been patient and you maybe you kept looking at your phone and just kind of like is this per is, should i give up is this person not going to reach out uh, i feel like that's coming over or that's going to happen there, there'll be a response there's actually going to be an invitation um whoever this person is that if you know them is going to be reaching out to you with a love offer and for those of you who've like you could just have been talking to somebody or um just very casual and someone hasn't reached out to you and then boom all of a sudden or they haven't responded and boom all of a sudden hey you want to go out do you want to um get together um someone who i i see gonna try to sweep you off your feet over the weekend okay very charming a very charming lovely energy you might have just been like i'm not you might have just been looking at people observing paying attention to people you might be doing that over the weekend and 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 but staying still and not really trying to reach out to anybody and being very hesitant and then a love offer comes in beautiful okay so now we've got virgo card again patience again that's what i'm saying all this patience all this hard work and effort even just waiting is paying off and this all this these new beginnings new beginnings in love new beginnings in whatever creative projects or things that you do in your life an opportunity for self-employment new job uh, building your business trade reputation craftsmanship quality being coming a master master deed i hear uh, becoming a master of something um, being committed and dedicated concentrating and it's it's things coming to fruition here definitely okay in all areas all right making a break for it and that's what i feel like it's this i think i said this in my moon pie tarot reading there was a make or break situation and a lot of that was like releasing past energies and with that new moon being able to move forward so you got travel news here there's going to be an opportunity to um sneak away somewhere absolutely um yep i feel like you're going to get some news about traveling okay um being able to go on a vacation or um just get away for the weekend from work there's an invitation coming in here okay um let's see it's coming in pretty quick too uh, holiday or uh maybe a romance holiday romance taking off flight um to sudden action and this making a break for it is like boom getting out getting away sneaking away from work sneaking away from your duties or when an opportunity comes in here for you uh for something related to your finances or career um all this hard effort it's like oh, you finally like um wait i have a block hold on what are they saying the eagle has landed finally the eagle has landed <laughs> the eagle has landed we can take a breather now and now it's done it's done this all energy that you've been either stressing about and you've been trying to be patient about in your life and whatever areas in your life like i said are, are coming to fruition now okay and you can there you, i just saw it where is it there you go okay double eights oh triple eights eight eight and eight hold on a minute I just want to see I have it written down the eight power authority strength organization control materialism the eight is like the infinity symbol 
this is um it comes around goes around right this is like you're finally getting to this place that you want to be okay we have Aquarius Sagittarius Pisces energy again okay you're able to walk away you're able to let go you're able to go now you can escape you, you've reached this limit you've gotten to this place over this weekend it's going to you're going to get confirmation over this weekend all this self-discovery looking deeper um your disappointments the, the things that you went through um prior you're gonna be able to look back at all this and say i have finally arrived okay that's that power of that new moon that's that power of that new moon it's very beautiful so there's definitely cupid's arrows coming in a, a sneak away romantic weekend for some you're going to get an invitation for that as well you might be a little hesitant at first about doing it um but i feel like it's it's not hesitation out of fear it's more like okay let me just make sure you know i said that yesterday how you could be sometimes virgo <laughs> make sure all your um t's are crossed and your eyes are dotted before you do anything so let me just take a look i want to see actually i'm just being called to give the overall energy the overall message for this reading over this weekend i know it's new moon energy and new beginnings and i love this <clears throat> some of you are getting your dream job and you're going to get or see an opportunity is going to present itself for you to take a leap of faith with a dream job even if you haven't applied for anything or whatever you've been working on in your life that opportunity is going to uh, culminate okay overall message the overall energy for this reading okay four of pentacles long-term security that is coming for you. Long-term security in love, finances, career. Yep, everything from before with this tower energy, major change. Or, or universe, it's not even, it's universe um, bringing forth these changes, okay? <laughs> and you have the nine of swords. So like I said, it's, it's a good stress. It's good anxiety, okay? Just make sure you take care of yourself, your mental health, try to get some sleep. Take something, take some melatonin, help yourself just get some sleep. Just, it, it might, for some of you, it's not like, oh my God, I'm so stressed, I'm gonna break down because things are bad. It's like, because things are so good. I just feel like all this energy accumulating in front of you or this weekend is just gonna give you this like, I can't stop thinking about it, I'm so excited, but yeah, it's stressing me out. Like everything is changing. Your life is changing and it's what you want. <sighs> So do something. Yeah, look at that. Three of Wands. Looking forward to the future. The horizon opening up before you. I, I feel you might get a little more detail, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Moon Pie Tarot reading that I have uploaded, okay, um, for this new Moon Weekend reading. That, that might give you a little more detail um, because it feels like this is what's happening. Let me see what your, your Romance Angels love message is. Oh, you're getting like some kind of, somebody might be coming to see you this weekend. Romantic, like I said, an offer or traveling with someone. Freedom. Coming in fast. Good news. Oh, look, you've got flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You're just going to have such a, I, I see like you being very free. Okay. And this new moon energy, I want to tell you, it starts on the 28th. And I believe it goes all the way to August 19th, okay? So if that August 19th is significant, I feel like um, some of the readings I was talking about the end of August, uh, some big changes on the love front. Okay, let's see. All right, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep. Okay, so there might be a relationship from something in the past that, like it's, for some of you, you know it's done and it's just you're accepting this now, okay? Like you're accepting that it's done and now you're beginning to flirt and get yourself out there and you're drawing, um, you're manifesting energies towards yourself. You're drawing things in and you're drawing in a soulmate, definitely. Somebody is coming in here as a soulmate, which is very beautiful energy. Let me see. 
Okay, yeah, finances and career, definitely. Like, everything is shifting. I can't believe it. Let me see if I can get a little a little more specific. But like I said, the other reading over on the other channel has some specifics. Okay, cheerfulness. All right, that's that Four of Wands energy. There's a celebra celebration. Someone's cheering on, cheering you, or will be people cheering you on. Maybe you're going to like a dinner or some kind of event or something or an award. You're receiving an award over the weekend. You might be or going through August. Okay, a young woman connected to you might be receiving an award as well, or you're a young woman who's being cheered on. <clears throat> or there's an opportunity like there's people celebrating you or celebrating someone close to you maybe a daughter these are extra messages okay over the weekend okay <laughs> there's a doctor <laughs> i was talking about the doctor in the waiting room there you go um hmm. okay some of you are getting into medical school or you're receiving your phd or your, your medical license, congratulations. Wonderful, or you're getting promoted in some way, becoming a doctor, uh, it could be a doctor in anything. Maybe just it could just be therapy, or you're becoming a life coach, or something is being promoted. You're being promoted, there might be like um, graduation of some sort that you're gonna be attending. Uh, some of you are receiving um, an opportunity to go to school. Um, or to something to do with uh, receiving degrees as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got a surprise. Oh, some of you are going to be, listen, getting that $6,000. $6, okay. Yep. So you got prison here. <laughs> some of you are avoiding prison. <laughs> Post bail. Post bail, or someone's going to be able to post bail and avoid prison over this weekend. This is interesting. 6,000 pounds. Okay, you're getting some money coming in. It's going to be a surprise for sure. Okay. Hmm. Goodness gracious, that card can kiss my hands. I don't want that. All right, I'm done with those. All right. Let me see. A couple extra messages because you know how I like to just go on and on. What else does Virgo need to know for this weekend? Okay. Oh. I think Spirit is trying to say we're not doing those. So I'm going to give you Chinese signs. Sometimes I think that like, um, hold on. Oh, you know what? That's what they said. We want um, the moonology message because we have this new moon right here. Okay. What is the new moon moonology message here for Virgo? These cards are so hard to shuffle. They're gigantic. Okay. There you go. Wow, I can't even believe that showed up. Two of them actually. Crazy. New moon in Sagittarius, new moon in Pisces. Oh my gosh, and this one as well. And new moon in Aries. All right, and then the full moon in Aquarius. And the full moon will be, yep, August 12th. Okay, so these new moon energies, luck is on your side. Meditate and contemplate, which I feel like you're going to do. And then it's time to take action. Okay, and then the full moon, August 12th, show the world the real you. That's beautiful because I feel like that's what this energy is. There's an opportunity here for you <clears throat> to show who you are, to show the world who you are. If you've been hiding, you're going to get an opportunity here and it's going to be amazing it's going to be fantastic you're going to be received very well all right let me get your um let me get your just your chinese signs but i don't know where the deck is the deck just disappeared hold on a minute you guys that is so weird oh here it is 
see, you know what it is? When I put stuff away, I can never find it. But when I have it like laying all over the place, I know exactly where everything's at. <laughs> all right, let me see. Chinese signs, then we're gonna finish out the reading. I'm gonna pull a couple of charms too, and then we're gonna be done. All right, we have a snake. We have a monkey, the rooster. We have a horse, double horse. We have the pig, goat, rat, and an ox. Very beautiful, okay? Very, very beautiful. All right, let's get some, let's see what we can do here with some charms. This is awesome. Your weekend looks amazing. This new moon energy, talk about manifestation. By the way, you guys, I saw a beautiful dragonfly yesterday. Okay, so we have, um, we have a frog, tropical frog. We have a kitty cat. You have the heart for love, and then you have a blue star. Somebody eating Lucky Charms right now? Cereal? Okay, so baby, you're a star. I'm telling you, you're going to be shining over this weekend. Something amazing is coming up over this weekend. Um, starting with the, with the new moon, which is tonight. Going all the way through August 19th. No, not August 19th. I'm so sorry. All the way through August 12th with the full moon shift and change. When things really begin to um, come full circle, they really become illuminated. Um, okay. Some of you are artists and you draw animals. Your artwork is going to be featured. It might be an NFT. Um, uh, will be featured. It doesn't have to be animals. It could be cartoons or whatever it is that you draw or, or you do something digitally. Um, you're going to have an opportunity or somebody's going to fund you to keep doing that and sell or be sponsored for something. Um, now, this tropical uh, rainforest frog. Okay, something is, is significant for someone here with the rainforest frogs. I don't know what it could be. <laughs> you might see one over the weekend, like in an aquarium. Or um, maybe you're going to visit an aquarium this weekend or go or thinking about it <clears throat> or you recently were and you saw one it's only if you recently were um, you saw them somewhere you might have a, a, a decoration maybe you're like a fan of frogs you might be a frog fan <laughs> okay love just okay I'm just hearing um, box of um, candy chocolates um, for some of you, there's like this um, very gentlemanly behavior. And I feel like I brought that up yesterday. There's, um, this is the, this is a kind of person, this is either you, that you do this over this weekend with someone, or um, someone does this to you, where someone shows up like with flowers and candy, very traditional, very, um, and it's just not something that you see anymore, I don't think. I mean, not on a first meeting. Okay, I once met someone, went out on a date, and he gave me flowers and a gold bracelet. <laughs> I was like, shocked. Um, not because oh, I don't deserve that, but I was just like, I guess that, but that's my generation, right? Um, and, and some of you are of the same generation as me, but some of you are, might be just like, what? Ew, you're creepy. I don't know. I don't, I think it's beautiful. So it's like candy and and flowers you might be giving or receiving and uh, it's very very romantic is what I'm saying um, it's it's lovely romantic it's affection okay and it's it's chivalrous and some of you might like that some of you might not you know it's up to you um, let me just get one more and then we're gonna finish out the reading one more you guys one more one more for Virgo Whenever I ask for another card, I think spirit, okay, or something. All right, we have a yin-yang symbol. Beautiful. Look at that. It's that yin-yang symbol all over this reading as usual, okay? This is the yin to your yang. The yang to your yin. Uh, Virgo is generally a yin sign. Um and usually that yin energy represents um, res being reserved. Um, it, it's more like an introvert energy. Even if you're uh, somewhat extroverted, it's it's kind of like Virgo's, you know, it's 
turning within and that's generally a Virgo trait um Virgos can have you know a lot of factors play into that a lot of influences you know um, especially like where your Mars energy is especially like your Chinese sign you can be a dragon or you can be a rabbit two totally different animals dragons are fierce and brave and fiery and sheep or rabbits are they're like quiet and you know soft um so yeah there could be a lot of influences so whatever your person is there's a there's a yin and then the yang and the yang is like the white that's that's extroverted energy that's positive um i guess you would say some would say it's like positive and negative um not negative in a in a in a dark you know in a in a bad sense it's there's no good or bad it's just um one's more out in the open it's it's like the difference between the sun and the moon right and i know i i feel like i'm schooling you i don't need to do that i know you know the difference and if you don't you can look it up um so there might be somebody with a yin yang tattoo or um a connection to some zen or um the tao te ching energy um somebody could be you know a a practitioner of those energies it could be you but whoever you know this love interest is that is coming to you it's like opposites attract i hear there's two opposing forces but when they blend they're beautiful they complement each other um so yeah i'm picking up very strong yin yang energy okay um so I think that's going to be it. I think that's it. And I, I hope that you guys have an awesome, amazing weekend coming up and enjoy the new moon. Set your intentions for new beginnings. You may see them manifest directly over this weekend. It may happen throughout the rest of the month up until the full moon where you set your new intentions again or you have everything become more illuminated for you. So yeah. All right, you guys. Awesome hanging out. I will see you guys Sunday evening. All right, take care.